Have you ever had that feeling that maybe, just maybe, our ancestors knew things that we've forgotten? I'm not talking about small things. I'm talking about a kind of cosmic code, an algorithm so powerful it could actually map out the patterns of life itself. Well, stick with me, because we're about to dive into a system of knowledge that might just do that. So take a look at this. At first glance, it looks like some kind of complex formula, right? And it is, but it's also an instruction, a very precise step-by-step -step command. Take the sun's longitude, add exactly four signs, 13 degrees and 20 minutes of arc to find a specific point in space. This isn't poetry, it's a pure, clean algorithm. And right there, that's the big question, isn't it? This calculation isn't from some modern astronomy lab, it's from a text that's thought to be thousands of years old. So how? How on earth could an ancient civilization, without a single computer, perform these kinds of sophisticated cosmic calculations down to a fraction of a degree? Well, the answer lies hidden inside one of the oldest and most complete systems of astronomical knowledge ever written down. A system that has somehow, against all odds, survived for millennia, passed down through an unbroken chain of teachers and their students. And get this, this knowledge wasn't just written down in some dry, dusty textbook. No, it's preserved as a living conversation, a dialogue between a great master, the sage Parashara, and his student, Maitreya. This incredible text is called the Brihat Parashara Horashastra, and it's basically the foundational manual for this entire cosmic system. The system itself is known as Jyotish. Now, in Sanskrit, the word Jyoti means light. So you can literally translate Jyotish as the science of light. It's the study of the celestial lights, the stars, the planets, and their intricate patterns, and how those patterns seem to connect with what happens down here on Earth. It's this amazing blend of astronomy, math, and philosophy. And when you actually look inside the Horus Shastra, the sheer scope of it is, well, it's just staggering. It really is a complete operating manual for the cosmos. It gets into everything from how to calculate planetary strengths with mathematical precision, to defining hundreds of special planetary combinations called yogas. You can think of those as specific cosmic alignments that point to certain events. It's just unbelievably deep. But that just brings up another question. Who was this master who laid it all out? Who was this sage Parashara? This is where things get really fascinating, where history and epic legend start to weave together. And here we have a major clue, right from the source. Parashar makes a direct reference to someone he says is alive at that time. He says that Dharmaraja, a main character from the epic Mahabharata, has a specific planetary combination. That's not a myth. That's a data point, anchoring him to a very specific era. And this, well, this just clicks the whole timeline into place. The tradition holds that this very same Maharishi Parashara was the father of Veda Vyasa, the legendary sage who is said to have compiled not only the entire Mahabharata epic, but also the foundational sacred texts, the Vedas. This places the origin of this whole system deep, deep in the Vedic era of ancient India. Now to really appreciate how incredibly sophisticated this system is, let's look at one of its most elegant concepts. It's an idea that reveals a kind of fractal, multi-layered universe. It's a technique called Vargas, or divisional charts. Okay, imagine the zodiac is a giant map. The Vargas are like a cosmic zoom lens. They let you zoom into any single point on that map. And when you do, a whole new, more detailed map appears underneath. And you can keep zooming revealing more and more layers of incredible detail. So it works like this. You start with the main zodiac map. Then you can divide each section in half to get a chart specifically about wealth. Or you can divide it into nine parts to create what's called the Navamsa chart, which is seen as crucial for understanding relationships and destiny. And it doesn't stop there. The system allows for 16 or even more layers of analysis, each one revealing hyper-specific details about life. And this isn't some modern idea we're just tacking on. The original text explicitly lays out these schemes, like the one you see here, the Shoda Savarga, which details 16 different layers of analysis. It's a complete, mathematically coherent system for looking at life from all these different dimensions, all from the same starting point. The intellectual architecture is just, it's beautiful. Okay. This all brings us to what I think is the most mind-blowing revelation of all. This ancient system, 
written down in poetic Sanskrit verses, is so logical, so precise that you can translate it directly into the language of our modern world. Just look at this. Seriously, on the left, that's a verse from the Hora Shastra, a set of rules for a calculation, and on the right, that's modern Python computer code. And here's the kicker. They're doing the exact same thing. The logic is identical. One is the ancient language of philosophy, the other is the modern language of computers, but the core algorithm is precisely the same. And what this really shows us is that this isn't just about faith or mystery, it's about mathematics. It is a rule-based system with such profound internal logic that it's completely timeless. It was an algorithm that ran on the human mind back then, and it's an algorithm that runs on a silicon chip now. That, that's an unbroken thread of logic spanning millennia. And that's the key. This incredible tradition didn't just pop up and then disappear. It's been a living, breathing part of a continuous civilization for thousands upon thousands of years. Think about this journey. From its origins way back in the Vedic era, this knowledge was kept alive through huge empires like the Mauryan and the Chola dynasties. It continued right on through the time of the Marathas, and what's truly remarkable is that it's still being studied and used by people all over the world today. So when you step back and look at the big picture, you're not just looking at an old book. You're witnessing a 7,000-year-old intellectual conversation that has simply never stopped. It's this amazing, unique space it's the place where hard, cold mathematics meets the deepest questions of philosophy, where the precise calculation of where a planet is in the sky is used to explore what it all means. And that's what it is, in the end. It's an ancient algorithm for understanding our place in the cosmos, written by a master coder thousands of years ago. And it is still running perfectly today. Which really just leaves us with one final big question. If a system this ancient, this sophisticated, has managed to survive all this time, a system that connects us to the stars with such mathematical elegance, what other wonders, what other profound pieces of knowledge might we have simply forgotten along the way?